Hey ladies and non-binary people and people who don't have a fully developed brain until they're 25. Yes, I'm talking to you, men. Another vlog. Everyone's been asking me for another vlog. I love vlogging. Um, this vlog is actually made up of like five different days because I just don't, I don't do enough in one day to make a whole entire vlog. And sometimes I get really tired vlogging. Anyway. I've got something really important to tell you. Something really important we gotta talk about. Think about the day I left on that playhouse station west of Saturday. I don't wear a mask. <laughs> Kidding. I'm currently in Perth, Australia. We have not had a community transmission of COVID in over 250 days. This state is literally COVID free because they closed their borders. But when I go back to Sydney, where I live, I'll have to wear a mask because there is COVID there. <laughs> Sorry you live in America and Donald Trump is your president. Little did Simone know she will get karma for saying this. <laughs> and just like that, Simone's insensitive comment about Donald Trump made her hit her call while backing out. She damaged her mother's car. Dead Republicans made this happen. I just hit the car. Because I was vlogging, I literally just hit my driveway and scraped paint off the car oh my god my, my mom's god, gonna, my kill, gonna me. kill me being a vlogger is not worth it i'm never vlogging in the car again you guys i was in kmart just then buying a diary a four dollar diary it has occurred to me that the reason i just damaged my mom's car was because dead republicans are haunting me because i made that comment about donald trump and how america has covid because of him and then I hit my mom's car. You know, it might be from a distraction, but the re dead Republicans distracted me. Why did dead Republicans do this to me? <sighs> I'm kidding. Look how long my eyelashes are, bruh. You know why they're so long? Because of the Etude House Eyelash Serum. Dead ass. I literally, my lashes are never this long. It is from the Etude House Serum. Go buy it. Use my code below because I really need it, you guys. <laughs> I really need it. Mom, I gotta tell you something. What is it, my darling daughter? I scraped the car. <laughs> <laughs> At least my eyelashes are fire. Everything that I pray, praise the Lord. I'm making a burnt basque or basque cheesecake i saw it on tiktok and i was like i really want to make it so that's what i'm making today while i bake i'm also gonna do a new segment in my vlogs called like my thought of the day or my wisdom of the day because i feel like every day i'm getting wiser because i am i'd be introspecting i'd be reading i'd be journaling i'm having new thoughts I'm creating new neural networks for the way I'm thinking. My thought of the day is about making friends. I used to really think that having a small group of friends was much better than having a large group of friends. But lately, I actually think it's the opposite. If you have a close group and you feel like they are providing you with the social support and you know, you're know you able to do activities with them and see them quite often, then that's good. But if you don't, then don't use the excuse that, oh, having a social small social circle is better. Um, don't use that as an excuse to not build your social circle. I used to be quite the former. I used to talk about how being alone was better and a lot of YouTubers do this. Being alone is good in the sense that you're with your own thoughts and you know, the whole excuse people use, nobody can hurt me when I'm alone. Save that shit for Tumblr. You know what? Did you know that being alone is a greater predictor for your mortality than any bad health conditions? Risk of mortality as you age is directly correlated to your social support. I did my research paper on this last year, you guys. Yeah, I used to be really afraid of making new friends because I was afraid to be misjudged by other people, which people often do. So I'd be like, I'd rather be alone. Um, and that would really prevent me from meeting new people. And I'd be like, no, I'm happy with a close group of friends. But honestly, there's nothing wrong with building your social circle. Social connection is super important to have a healthy life, not just mentally, but literally physically. It, it affects you at a cellular level. Anyways, the, the piece of knowledge I shall be imparting today is shoot your friendship shots and shoot your relationship shots, okay? Like DM that person, go up to that person if you want a relationship with them or a friendship with them because you're not going to lose anything at all. What is the worst that can happen? 
they don't reply to me. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. They didn't reply to me. Oh, how humiliating. No, you're gonna get over it. it. It doesn't matter. You have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. Imagine if that person replies, you have, and you have this like amazing friendship. You gain a new friend. Who knows like the incredible memories to come that you're gonna make with them. And same with a relationship. You shoot that shot with that person. They reject you, whatever. Hurts your ego a bit. Move on, you'll get used to it. And imagine if they do reply, what can happen? You have a great relationship. You can have a shit one too, but that's a part of life. But imagine, you have a great relationship. You get married, you have kids, you die all together. Just shoot your shot. Like, grow your circle, put yourself out there and don't be afraid because you have nothing to lose and you have everything to gain. I'm a wise girl, I'm a wise girl. I'm a wise girl. Two's case have been in there for like 10 minutes. They're meant to be in there for 50 and they're already burning! The bottom's not even cooking, the top is burning. My goodness gracious. It's 7.30, it's getting dark. I'm going to karaoke. This is my fashion playlist. Okay, let's drive. I'm not gonna vlog my whole drive because you know, that's really irresponsible. Ew. Okay, bye, this is dangerous. Hey, ladies and genitals, I'm with my mother here. My mother's here driving. People believe you're my mother. They're like, why is, Why did she have her at 21? <laughs> but Simone's 20. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Kathleen, your mother looks really young. Period. I like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> no filler, no Botox, no nothing. All natural. Just, All natural, baby. Just genetics. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing, Kathleen? So we're going to karaoke, but first we're going to pick up um, my friend Charlotte. She would say hands, wouldn't she? So beautiful. Bye. Hi. Eric. Hi. Eric, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you, Eric. Bye. Dude, you know. Me. They thought we were drunk, but we aren't <laughs> because we're just. <laughs> we love to sing because we are practicing for the voice. Dude, we killed that. Chung Lee. No, oh, Chung Lee was unstoppable. We were unstoppable. I wish we filmed Chung Lee because we absolutely killed that. Hey, yo, I've been on. Bitch, I've been on. Fendi Prince on. Bitch, I've been on. Wow, you didn't even join in with me. Let's ride. Bitches know you can't catch me. Zoom, zoom, cute, sexy, and a rad sporty. Yeah, thank you for watching the video. I love you all. Like, comment, subscribe. And I read all the comments and I like all the comments. I love you. Bye. And before I go, I just want to say it matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. Thank you. <laughs> Mi otra madrina dijo que sí Este de aquí me hizo llorar Este otro me dice marica Este otro de mí piensa mal Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán Madre quiero saber En verdad quién soy yo Y si, tal vez tengo un síndrome Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes Ten medicamentos rompe